at $15 million. Thank you, Patty. Bringing down the hammer on this iconic sculpture by Jeff Koons. The Pink Panther sold at Sotheby's for nearly $17 million. Downtown in Manhattan, Coons is still hard at work and greets the news with bemusement. The sale price of the Pink Panther last night I thought was really uh, pretty amazing. And uh, the real value in art is how it kind of creates an alchemy in your everyday life. But the Pink Panther, from the time that it was sold uh, back in the very beginning of uh, 1989 to last night, uh, increased uh, over around 16,000 uh, percent. Despite the big number, the piece actually fetched less than expected. This auction season has generally been marked by caution so far, with some buyers prepared to sit on the sidelines. Some works, such as this nude by Tom Wasselman, failed to reach the reserve price and were withdrawn. It's a very selective uh, market. You see that the the pieces that are highly in demand does, they do very well. A good example is uh, the uh, red uh, shadow painting by Andy Warhol. We hadn't seen anything like that on the market for maybe forever, not in auction anyway. And uh, everybody wanted this. Four million two fifty. Thank you. This Warhol portrait of Liz Taylor is another highlight of the season, going under the hammer this week. The auction house is optimistic about business this season. Uh, so far it's been very good. The uh, market is strong. It's become a completely global market because you have buyers from all over the world that are participating in these auctions. For Coons, the auctions themselves never affect his work, but he does follow them. You know, I have to, uh, in a way, pinch myself because I always wanted to participate. And so I want to have my works be in a dialogue with other artists, uh, such as Dali and Warhol, Picasso, Manet. So to see my works at auction uh, is some form of uh, a validation. An artist likes to see his works do well because it helps give you a sense that these uh, pieces won't turn to dust quite as rapidly. Such a fate seems unlikely for Coons, with a vast studio and eager buyers ready to jump through hoops. Richard Roth, CNN, New York.